hello 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 it's me again this is real talk with amira again it's been a couple days i've been busy a little busy just trying to do a few other things trying to get a few other things prepared for myself So, I hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone is taking some steps. Again, I'm still talking about those steps. Start doing what you need to do for yourself. Make changes. You can't get something new if you don't do anything new. If you're stuck somewhere, you've got to change something or you're going to continue to be stuck there. You're not going anywhere if you don't change something. So today's little um, Real Talk with Amira podcast, I decided I see people talk about celebrities and, you know, things that are trending, trending topics, hot topics. Celebrity chit chat is what I'm calling this today. I've been hearing a lot about, of course, the Kardashians, <laughs> um, Kanye and Kim Kardashian, or also I've heard a lot the past few weeks about Cardi B, Tasha K, the lawsuit, and I, I really don't get into a lot of the the celebrity type stuff i'll do watch it a little just because it pops up on my timeline on youtube i've also heard about tori lane i have no idea who it is and um meg meg stallion or e stallion i don't look i don't know neither one of them <laughs> but i've been hearing a lot about their um situationship or whatever so i'm gonna talk about that just a hint today So I think I'll talk about the oldest thing is probably the Cardi B, I think, or that's what I heard, the the oldest or the latest. So um, Tasha K lost the lawsuit that was filed against her for, I believe, defamation of character. And, you know, I I only know Tasha K a little bit. I've watched her some. She's hilarious to me. Um, yeah, she's hilarious. And Cardi B, you know, for me, a lot of the rappers, I don't know if you can call. I guess they're rappers, y'all. I guess they're rappers. Women rappers. I don't care for them because for me all i see is women exploiting their sexuality they it's just not attractive to me and i'm from a different era i was born in 1972 so i'm used to like a different kind of woman rapper i'm not used to this talk about uh wop wet ass pussy um uh, I'm gonna do this and that or you know watching women have sex on basically porn and talk about how many men they screw what I can get cause I got a big ass or big titties I'm, I'm not used to that type of rap <laughs> I am so not used to that type of rap so Megas- I have no idea who, Meg- who Mega Stallion is Cardi B I probably know, um, and I really don't know any of her songs by by memory, but I can recognize them if I hear them, but they're they're not interesting to me. I would never go buy one of her records. Who's the other lady she was arguing with? Nicki Minaj. I would never go buy a Nicki Minaj record. maybe some of her older records possibly when she started before she got it seems like people get corrupted when you get in the the music industry 
you know it's all about having big titties and a big ass i'm gonna go get my ass uh what they call those um brazilian butt lifts titty implants and that's what makes music that's what make my my music sell if that's what makes your music sell you don't have music but let, let me get back to that. Cardi B and Tasha K, the lawsuit. I did watch the woman, I can't, I didn't get her name today, who actually gave Tasha K the story about Cardi B. And it seemed very plausible. It seemed very plausible to me. She seemed very genuine and honest, but of course we can be fooled. Of course. But my thing is, if you're a stripper, let, let's think about that. Let's just take a, a few seconds to ponder on that topic. You're a stripper. I'm a stripper in a CD club or a bar, or whatever. I'm a stripper. What does my life look like? as a stripper what does my life look like as a stripper is it upstanding i have morals values what does my life look as a stripper and i'm not saying every stripper is out here doing everything but a lot of strippers you're stripping for money a lot of times that turns into prostitution for money a lot of times that turns into you're doing drugs, you're drinking to do that job. So if someone says, allegedly, you were doing drugs, um, I, that, that seems pretty plausible to me. And of course, these are just my opin opinions and these are, you know, alleged things, but you're a stripper. For you to go out every night and strip on poles and shake your ass for men and have them coming at you and why why don't you want to go get a regular job or who knows or fast easy money certain things come with being a stripper i know this and i've never been a stripper i've never wanted to be a stripper so why why would it be so um unthinkable <laughs> that a stripper would be doing drugs selling her body um getting stds y'all all that seems pretty plausible i mean she wasn't like a a nun being a stripper or a school teacher being a stripper and that's just my thought on it this is amira thoughts on the, the tasha k and cardi b and of course tasha k may have not wanted to go about it that way and once you get a court order stop of course but are those things true or could they be true who knows but strippers are not like upstanding citizens of the community <laughs> like that was my thing oh um she's a stripper certain things come with being a stripper so I'm going to go to court and prove that you were defaming my character as a stripper. But what type of character does a stripper have? <laughs> Where is your character? Yeah, that's some crazy shit. But all right, that's my Tasha K and Cardi B um, take. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next one is next celebrity chit chat topic. <laughs> Tory Lanes, I think that's his name. I don't even, I don't have no idea who he is. And Meg Stallion. I did watch a little bit of a video today. Who, who was on the channel? I can't think of whose channel it was, but what i surmised or or got from it was that he was sleeping with two best friends 
Meg Stallion and her best friend. And then they all of a sudden found out about it. And then all of a sudden somebody got mad about it. And all of a sudden, allegedly, somebody shot about it. <laughs> but, you know, and they're in court now. Going to court. Um, trying to find out what happened. There was a gun found. There was... Um, pieces of bullets found supposedly in her foot and I don't, I don't know who the hell shoots people in their feet but I've never heard of that shit but um, and then he supposedly told her to dance y'all the world look I'm telling y'all there's something going on strange in the world And then when people, these, these are people who have a certain level of income, a certain level of access to the world, a certain level of fame and fortune. <laughs> and y'all out here shooting people in their feet. What the hell is going on? And were they intoxicated or, you know, on drugs or drunk? That's allegedly some things that w were said. But if you have to risk your life, you have this fame and fortune and you risking your life over somebody sleeping with somebody. That's not good. This there's some strange things going on these days. And I just sit back and laugh. And a lot of the stuff, it, it's the same things that regular people go through. Like I said, nothing new under the sun. Nothing new under the sun. He's sleeping with two best friends i've seen where people are sleeping with 12 you know friends or women it's it's all the same shit and nothing good comes of that that's why people need to be monogamous i'm a proponent of monogamy one-on-one -on -one relationships truth and honesty <laughs> look Whew. but um yeah, they're in court. They got to go back to court in April. I think I heard that. Yeah, that, that's more drama. I, when when does the affluent, the the prosperous, the fame, the stars stop doing bullshit that the regular people do? When do the affluent and the stars stop cheating and having side babies and that's the same shit that the regular people are doing how are they any different but we look up to them they have millions of followers millions hundreds of thousands so why do they have all these followers if they're doing the same bullshit that i'm doing or that she's doing the same people in the damn community you dealing with the same shit so how are you any different why you got a million followers when you're out here sleeping uh with a side chick somebody's best friend but we are looking up to these people cardi b <laughs> um you know I, I if you just listen to her talk you can tell her character and what she's about that's not somebody I want to look up to. That's definitely not somebody I want my daughter to be looking up to. And she just had a daughter, I believe. You know, she's called black women out their name, called them roaches. and But these are the type of people we are looking up to. And now she has a black daughter, a black roach. <laughs> so what, what? What kind of goddamn sense does that make? That makes no sense at all. And these are the people we are putting up on a pedestal. Next celebrity chit chat. <laughs> Kanye. Um, Kanye, Kim Kardashian. Uh, Pete Davidson. I think that's his name. So. I actually watched. <laughs> 
I did actually watch this video. A Lady T.I. I think that's her channel name. She actually was talking about Kanye and Kim and the Kardashians and how Kanye actually... She said this is why Kanye is upset. Because he morphed the Kardashians into who they are now. He brought them a new style he changed up their look he taught them about fashion he taught them how to promote themselves and now kim kardashian is like bye boy i'm out of here i'm tired of you and he's brought this whole family to a different level and now she ready to drop him like a, a hot rock and she was uh, Lady T.I. was parallel, you know, parallel. Okay, I can't say that right now. She was making that, like, when a woman helps a man and brings him up. But she was equating that to that type of thing. That once you bring somebody up and then they want to leave you, what? <laughs> and she was stating, stating that that's how Kanye feels right now. And that's why he's so upset. Like, he changed that whole family's projection where they were going and their whole style and what they did and now she wants to leave them but that's the risk you take <laughs> that is the risk you take for helping someone or promoting someone or doing something for someone and then a few things i've seen is that kim kardashian is basically saying that she wants to make herself happy now that she's ready to make herself happy now but you weren't happy when you got married or you were trying to make Kanye happy when you got married you know I don't know I don't know what that's all about but I know it's getting messy it's getting very messy <laughs> as far as their bickering on media and social media and going back and forth and what Kanye is doing of course they want to portray him to be unstable but was he unstable when you met him and you went on and married him and had all these kids was he unstable when you were popping out all these babies or he just all of a sudden became unstable like uh, a couple months ago no I don't think so no, but people do things a lot they marry people they date people they want to associate with people to up their fame or their social status clout chasing there go that word again clout chasing <laughs> and would he been fine by himself of course he has some beautiful children now but would he, would he have been fine being alone yes would she have been fine being alone could she have got to where she is now by herself of course but the kardashians they have a lot of issues y'all and people can put them on these uh these high pedestals but they got a lot of issues and it is very clear it's not something you need to guess about they have a lot of issues they date a lot of black men which is fine they have babies which is fine they date cheating people they are having babies out of wedlock um they're getting divorces they're they ain't got shit special there's nothing special about their lives that I would want to look up to. Nothing. They got fake breasts, fake boobs. And of course, you can, if that's what you want to do, do it. <laughs> look, But they're just kind of a lot of fake people. So why would I look up to a fake person? I don't get a lot of the stuff we do today. We look up to fake people. Um... We want to portray fake lives. We want to look good, but not be good. You know, one of the people 
that uh one of the women that i had dealt with in the past and i'm gonna tell that story i actually um i'm starting a patreon let me tell that real quick i'm starting a patreon i'm gonna do a couple of podcasts a week that i don't do in the public my first one this is pretty much gonna be my first patreon uh, post i'm gonna tell about how my um court case with the narcissist got dismissed and that was a god moment y'all that was god intervening in my life and i'm gonna tell the story it's not gonna be long but i am gonna tell the story but it's gonna be on patreon but back to you know, a lot of these people we're we're putting in on pedestals and they don't deserve to be there. There's nothing that they have that you don't have. They might have a fake booty and, and uh fake boobs. <laughs> Brains. No comment. No comment. But we're placing all this value on superstars and rappers and these people have the same problems you do and they're expounded and blown up because they're on media and we're still eating them up it makes no sense and they have children just think kanye and kim's children will see all this stuff in social media they're going to see what he said about her. They're going to see what she said about them. You know, and also, what's her name? Chloe. She's called, um, this was some years ago. People are bringing back videos because they're on the internet. She's talking about black dick and your daughter's going to see this stuff. If you have a son, he's going to see this stuff. So all this stuff is not, I don't, I don't care for them. There, it doesn't look good. It's not a good look. These are mothers. These are real people. And you're, you're, you're basically promoting a lot of fakeness. Pete Davidson, I think that's his name. Um, he's just caught up in the middle. He may like him, but your reputation is being put at stake whatever reputation you did have i think i've watched him a little bit on saturday night live but you're putting your reputation at stake dealing with this hot mess it's a hot mess and she doesn't really give a fuck about you because she's brought you into this shit and she knows you're gonna be put through the fire and what she should do is just she should have just waited until her divorce is done to start seeing anyone because you're creating all this bullshit in the media so is it on purpose or is by happenstance mm, probably on purpose but that's a lot of stuff a lot of media going on a lot of people all these stars they just they just like us they just have um, a platform. <laughs> they just have more money in the bank. But they're still going through bullshit just like you. Bad relationships. Gunshots. Getting shot in your damn feet. Now how stupid does that sound? That's, that sounds like stupid to death. <laughs> Come on now. Tasha K. You're, you're in a court battle with a stripper. No, she's no longer a stripper, but... You're talking about when she was a stripper. So what type of reputation do you have as a stripper? Yeah. All right, y'all. That's all I got to say about those celebrity chit chat today. <laughs> Whew, a lot of drama. Lots of drama in the world. But I am glad everyone... I'm glad everyone is hopefully taking a look at their lives. I know I am. 
still every day i'm trying to do something different trying to make sure i'm taking care of a task i need to take care of that reminds me i need to do something today. <laughs> that just reminded me but please start to think about your life your life is what you make it you can blame everybody all you want to you can complain lord look i have uh people in my own life they want to complain about stuff not go handle their business and if you really don't want to do something then don't tell people you want to do it i want a job i want a job i want a job you really don't want a job please stop talking oh i want a good relationship i want a good relationship no you don't because you're still with this nigga that's cheating on you stop get out my face <laughs> you don't but make up your mind as long as you're out here all over the place you you, you can't get one thing you're not focused if I want to pick up an apple, I'm going to look for the apple and I'm going to make sure I get the apple. If I'm like, oh, I don't want to, I don't know if I want an apple, orange, or a lime, you, you're not going to know where to go. Focus, focus. But this has been another Real Talk with a Mirror celebrity chit chat today. Talking about a couple things I've seen on the internet all drama y'all is nothing special we need to and they put so much time and effort in the media for bullshit <laughs> look all this is bullshit did they say who got shot you know down the street who baby mama is divorcing somebody why do they put all this shit in the media they look so good getting a divorce. They have on uh, Balenciaga or Gucci or Prop. They have on that while they get in divorce proceedings. Who cares? We need to start waking up. There are more important things for us to be looking at than Kanye or Tasha K or what's the other one? Megan Stallion and. Oh Lord, there's so many more important things. But this has been Real Talk with the Mirror. Celebrity chit chat. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well. Do something new, please. Start doing something you wanted to do. Change something. I, th I was talking with a Facebook friend. He said he's been trying to get his business to go on for seven years. Mm-mm trying to go to the black community for them to invest in him and i think it's him it might be a her but i think it's him stop you gotta change something if you haven't got something in seven years you need to change something a lot of us need to change something i definitely am and this has been real talk with amira everyone have a lovely night march 1st start something new new month new things i love everybody have a wonderful night peace <laughs>